Elite Facts presents 12 Things You Didn't Know About Swearing. 12. George Washington hated swearing. He made a whole speech about it, saying, The general is sorry to be informed that the foolish and wicked practice of profane cursing and swearing is growing into fashion. He hopes the officers will, by example as well as influence, endeavor to check it. 11. Most kids know at least one curse word by the age of two, even before they can recite the alphabet. 10. The upper middle class tends to swear the least. This trend dates back to the Victorian era, when upper middle class citizens strove to rise into the upper class. 9. Bitch was an insult back in the 1400s. It meant worse than a whore. 8. George Carlin was known for speaking his mind and being ahead of his time. He was arrested for disturbing the peace performing seven dirty words at a festival in the 70s. 7. You're probably familiar with this collection of symbols to represent swear words. It's called a growlix. 6. The dictionary says profane comes from the Latin profanus. This translates as from outside the temple. It was associated with secularism and related to the idea of desecrating what was holy. 5. Fuck doesn't stand for fornication under consent of king, nor does it mean for unlawful carnal knowledge. 4. If you've hurt yourself, swearing will help reduce the pain. 3. Words like shit and crap date back well over a thousand years in use. Odds are a knight somewhere screamed one of them in battle. 2. Swearing on TV is hardly an uncommon thing nowadays. But the first F-bomb in American TV history was on Saturday Night Live and was from Charles Rocky back in 1981. 1. Men swear a lot more than women, but only when they're alone. If they're in the company of a female, they will swear little to none, unlike women who will swear the same amount regardless of their company. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more Elite Facts.